Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today we'll be taking a look at the Fent 900 with metallic paint version 1.0 file size for that is 42 megabytes beautiful paint jobs on them and there's nine different variations of colors you can choose from then we'll be taking a look at the Trail King low loader file size for that is 8.88 .88 megabytes and yes that's a gray low loader you see right in front of you you can tote vehicles around with that really really cool that's from Winston 9587 so what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then we will test them out and see what they can do. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start on over here with this beautiful purple Fent. This is the Fent 900 with metallic paint version 1.0. The file size for this is 42 megabytes. Now there's five different engine sizes to pick from guys. You get the 927, 930, 933, 936, and the 939. Now all the statistics I'm about to give you is for this thing fully loaded. Now the power is 287 kilowatts and 390 horsepower. Price in the shop is 327,300 with a $410 a day maintenance fee. Max speed is 60 kilometers an hour. There's nine different colors to choose from, four different rim colors and two colors for grill and exhaust protection. So you can change the colors of quite a bit of it. And look how cool that looks guys like i really like that uh metallic paint because see how it almost looks black on the side there it's not though it's just the uh shadow cast on it and it's actually all purple but it's just the way the light hits it really really like that so let's go over to the shop we'll check out a few things here under tractors of course there it is right there the vario 900 let's click on that yeah like i said there's a few different uh engine sizes one two three four five and then back to the 927 wheel choices you got standard wheel weights wide tires wide tires with weight that's cool real dual wheels twin wheels and back to standard you can change your rim color you can have four different uh, colors there design now this is when you start getting into the colors now it doesn't say what colors they are but I'll tell you what they are this is red this is green, but this is not the uh, regular green like this color here. It's the metallic green. So there's actually eight colors and then the regular color. So that is blue. It's kind of like a dark blue, almost like a purple. Then we have bronze, and that's almost a brown. Then we have turquoise. Uh, it's kind of like a blue-green mixed together. Then we got, I'm not sure what that says, but it's blue. It's a dark blue, but not as dark as that other blue. You'll see what I mean here shortly. Then we got Helgrun. That is a yellowish green. Then we got Lila, and that is purple. So there's all your different choices there. Design. Now what this is, guys, is the grill in the front and the uh, exhaust protector. The uh, design of that. What it is, is this is dark right now. If you take the design line, it'll be more see-through. You can see the engine through it a little better. It's kind of a lighter color. So there is all your different variations right there. I have a few different ones bought here, so I can just give you an idea. Let's, that's the, the, the blue one. But here's the other blue, the darker blue. I said it's almost kind of like a purple a dark dark blue and then we have the turquoise one here that's the red one again and that is the uh the green but not uh the original green you can tell by looking at it i really like that metallic paint on it red one looks great all these ones right here look fantastic so let's go in and we'll test a couple of these out now these have all the same controls as the regular fent 900 it has all the ic controls and everything else so we'll check out the lights first one two Oh, it's only one setting for lights. Yeah, on and off. That's it. Okay, signal lights. Hazards. There we go. Try the horn. Okay, beacons work. Yes. Let's look on inside. Pretty sure that dash light lights up. Yes, it does. Oh, everything lights up. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, so let's head over to the IC controls. How do I activate them? Right shift. That's weird that they're... I've seen a few with the right shift now. Oh, you actually got to hold it in. Okay, you can uh, move your steering column. Look at all the uh, dashboard works there as well. Let me get the door, of course. 
Got a whole bunch of RAC controls. We can open up the uh, sunroof there. What's that for? I don't see that doing anything. Nothing here. Looks like we can open the back window. Nothing on the seat. Look how far ahead that uh, the extra seat is there. It's different. Mirrors all work. Good. Okay, yeah, there's not a whole bunch of IC controls, but there is a few. So, let's take this guy for a little drive. I love how the joystick moves. That's awesome. So, it's pretty peppy. 63. Says max speed 60. Oh, look at the lag there. Holy. That's because I got about... 20 fence hanging around but very very cool and there you have it guys that was the Fenton 900 metallic paint next up this is the Trail King low loader file size for this is 8.88 megabytes price in the shop is 47,900 with a $120 a day maintenance fee it is as is, you can't change the color or anything, but uh, the ramp works pretty cool and it got a nice lighting system on it. This is also made by Winston9587, so he always does a good job with his mods. Okay, let's fold that up. That's a little slippy in the back, but that might be just because the ramp's down. If I press the X key, watch the ramp. It doesn't flip all the way up. Isn't that cool? You still got that whole end. I put three of those... Uh, fent tractors on here and they fit perfectly so yeah X button to flip that up and down then you can also control the front ramp there let me hit my old key here pretty sure that's the V key see it going down and put it back up this also has a locking script guys so it will lock down with the Y key won't activate now because nothing's on it but it will lock down and it has a very nice lighting system as well not a whole bunch of lights, but watch when I'm backing up. Got nice flashy ones on the side. I like that. Let's turn those lights off and try that again. Yeah, I see them flashing there, so very cool. Okay, so let's flip that down. So it's not as wide as I'd like, but it, this is a 900. 900 so it is a pretty big tractor considering I'm gonna put this guy right up there there you go okay I'll leave him running I just want to see if I can lock this down yes so there you can see it's locked down there it's not going anywhere okay let's flip up the ramp Oh, very nice low loader. I like that. That's the first one I've seen that uh, flips down like that. I like how they don't waste any room and you don't have a big gate in your way. And it has the locking script, so... This is the Y tires with the uh, wheel weights. Look how awesome it looks with the Y tires. Yeah, I do really do like these paint jobs. I like how it looks black on the sides and blue. But when you shine a light on it, Oh. It is actually blue. That is awesome. So before I wrap this up, I want to show you where that is in the shop. I almost forgot to show you where the uh, low loader was. It's in uh, Winston9587. If it's one of his mods, he usually has his own little category there. And there it is there. So yeah, you can't change anything, but it's a really nice lo low loader. Really like that one. So, there you have it, guys. That was the Fent 900 with Metallic Paint version 1.0. File size for that is 42 megabytes. Then we have the Trail King Low Loader. File size for that is 8.88 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick. Right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to a smaller channel. It really helps out. So until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.